Hello and welcome to the Picon login tutorial. My name is Tim and in this video I will show you how to use user groups to structure your organization and assign the right product licenses to the right users. But before we start creating user groups it is important to think about what you want to achieve with them. User groups can be created according to different goals. They can be departments and teams like data creation, proposal creation or room planning but also users of specific software like Picon Basket or Picon Planner. In small organizations or for freelancers, you can also easily assign product licenses using the automatically created user group Standard Users. The flexibility of Picon Login allows you to customize the management of your organization exactly to your individual needs. Here you can see the start page of my Picon Login organization. In the License tab, I already have two Picon Basket and one Picon Planner license active for my organization. Now to make the licenses available to my employees, I need to create a user group. To do this, I switch to the user group tab. With a click on the plus, I can now create the first group. In the following form, I define a name and a short description. By the colors, I can quickly recognize different groups. With a click on create, my first user group is created. Now comes the next important step, adding users to my created group. In the User tab, I find an overview of all my organization's users and their group membership. If I click on the pencil on the right side, I get to the user's information. At the very bottom of the section, the user can now be added to different user groups. I add him to one of the groups I created. I can also assign a user to multiple groups. To do this, I select both groups and click on Save. When a new employee comes to one of these apartments, I can simply provide them with everything they need through a user group assignment. If I want to remove a user from a group, I can also do that in the overview with the small x. Now I can assign the license to the users in their groups. Of course, it is important to note that only as many users are added to the groups as there are licenses available. To do this, we switch to the license overview. With a click on the pencil, I can now assign the existing licenses to the created user groups. In the overview, I now see that the correct licenses are assigned to the user group under Users. As the administrator of the organization, I can request additional licenses, create and edit user groups or should it be necessary, transfer licenses at any time. If you have any questions about user groups, feel free to comment below the video. Also, have a look at the other videos about Picon Login on our channel. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.